Hello brothers and sisters, we welcome you all back to our channel. In today's video, we will be sharing with you all, a most recent message from Our Lady. This message was given to Luz de Maria. On the 10th of June, 2023. Brothers and sisters, we do advise that you watch this message to the end. This message is very encouraging and very informative. We are sure that souls will be converted and saved by this message. Please listen to this message meditatively without any form of distraction, so that you can know the heart of God towards you and your family. By the end of this message, we encourage you all to please share this video, so that more souls who listen to them can be converted. Thank you. Let us now go into our message. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them with the fire of divine love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and always enjoy your consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. Message of the Most Holy Virgin Mary to Luz de Maria, June 10, 2023 Receive the blessing of this mother who loves you. I bless you on this very special date. Draw near to my divine Son, live by Him and in Him, in a constant intimacy of souls who are faithful to my divine Son. My divine Son lives in each one of His children, guiding them, loving them, helping them out of love and mercy, and in order to offer them eternal life. Beloved children, each of you is part of the church that my divine Son instituted. He dwells in you. Beloved children, as part of my divine Son's mystical body, like my Son, you are and will be persecuted. My divine Son suffers because of this, and as he asked Saul, he asks the persecutors of his children, Why are you persecuting me? Beloved children, you know well that because of your love of my divine Son, you are and will be persecuted severely by the enemies of the Church. Without doubting that you have received the Eucharistic Sacrament, truly present in the Holy Eucharist, nourish yourselves continually with the Eucharists you have received, together with times of adoration before the Most Holy Sacrament. Beloved children, you are my Divine Son's dwelling place, and, as such, be a worthy dwelling place. Turn away from worldly things and be creatures of good, love your brothers and sisters. My Divine Son is love and his children must be love for themselves and for their brothers and sisters. Very fierce trials are approaching for humanity in general. This is why I call you to be at peace with my Divine Son, so that before the great blackout that will occur, you would be illuminated by the Holy Spirit, not neglecting the duty to prepare yourselves prior to this great trial that will cause the downturn of the climate. Prepare yourselves. It is painful for my Divine Son to see how war is ever closer, it is painful for this mother. It is as if my children were preparing themselves for a party, and this is abominable. Pray, my children, 
Pray for the countries whose rulers want to make the church disappear and who want their people to disappear. Pray, my children, pray and protect your health. Sudden deaths caused by the wrongdoings of those who rule mankind are increasing. Pray, my children, pray for my true instruments, they are being persecuted. Pray, my children, pray for the United States, it will suffer. Pray for Chile, Ecuador, and Colombia. Be worthy abodes of the presence of my Divine Son in each of you. I am here to intercede before my Divine Son for each of you. I do not separate myself from you, I love you with maternal love. Be faithful to my Divine Son and receive the real presence of my Divine Son, present in the Eucharist. Serious torments are approaching, and therefore I warn you to prepare yourselves with clothes for cold weather. The sun will be hidden, evil will seize on this fact, to acquire dominion over a great part of humanity. My Divine Son is love, and being at peace with your brothers and sisters is a great good for the soul. I bless and love you, Mother Mary Hail Mary Most Pure, Conceived without sin, that comes the end of the message. Brothers and sisters, we do hope that this message has blessed you. And we do hope that it was informative to you and your family. Let us go forward now and be obedient to our Lord Jesus Christ. We do hope that we will be blessed for our obedience. Let us show our appreciation by going to the comment session and thanking the Lord once again. And let us give this video a like as an appreciation for the work put together to bring it to you all. Amen. God bless you all and see you in our next video.